U.S. president admits the other day on Thursday that the food shortages will affect everyone globally. And that includes us here in America, folks. So what are we going to do about this? All right. Things are really starting to change. There's a lot of stuff that is going on. There's a lot of different balls that are being thrown right now. There are so many cards that are being played. I don't think anybody really can figure out what is happening. But this is what they are predicting is going to take place. They are predicting that we are going to have food shortages towards the end of the year. We also are seeing the very high prices of gas, diesel fuel. We're all seeing the shortages throughout the country. We're also seeing shortages, you know, um, throughout the world, not just our country but throughout the world everybody is going to be affected by what is taking place now what is the situation at hand and how are we going to um, avoid this whole problematic thing that we're really dealing with right now and right now we're going to be talking about food shortages now one thing that re people really have to think about is is we're talking global food shortages. Now, Biden did say that he was going to be working on and helping out to aid a lot of the lesser countries, if you really understand what I'm saying. And this way here, maybe we could supply them with some food or supplies and things of this nature out of our own stockpiles. The concern I have with that, folks, is you really have to sit back and really wonder how that is going to hurt and affect us. It's one thing that we are paying higher prices at the pumps uh, because of this war that is taking place and all those innocent people that are dying. But now if we start giving away our food supplies and everything else, then what is that going to leave us? We have to make sure that this coming year to try to avoid this huge food shortage that they are predicting is that um, we have a very good grow year this year, which means no interruptions, which means uh, no devastating storms and anything of that nature but we're already starting off people by being behind the eight ball because fertilizer is in short demand and there isn't much of it to go around and if you can find the fertilizer for some of these larger farmers and stuff they are paying top dollar for that fertilizer so we're already starting off on the wrong foot if you understand what i'm saying but that's going to lead to even bigger issues and problems coming down the road and what i mean by that is is what's going to take place folks is the fact that you have already starting off with less or no fertilizer which is going to reduce your crop yield by 40 to 50 percent so come harvest time towards the end of the year when they're saying that a lot of this is going to hit we're already starting off behind the eight ball and what do we do what can we do i have another video that's coming out on um, Monday that I think you all probably should watch and I'm going to talk about ways that you can get around these drastic inflation hikes that are coming the food cost is going to go through the roof if you can find the food on the shelves I have another idea for a lot of people out there and it's a realistic idea that you have to just put it in place and i think if you everybody would just do it i think it would work really well and that video will come out tomorrow but the question still stands at hand we're still dealing with these food shortages i've been doing this food shortage videos every sunday now for what the last two months um, and there's still shortages there's still people out there that are reporting to seeing 
uh, shortages throughout their stores. And there's also people that are reporting that they don't see anything. But it's only a matter of time, I think, with the way that everything is playing out in the government's playbook that we all are going to start to see those food shortages. So it's something that you really, really want to get ahead of because I think they have something in plan and I think that, well, they're going to execute their plan one way or the other. And they're going to blame it on probably the whole Russia and Ukraine conflict on what's going on over there that this is going to help them put in motion their reset that they want there's a lot of stuff coming down the pike folks i'm not going to get into it on this video here today but we're going to be talking about more of that coming up at a later date but you really need to start paying attention and watch the video coming out tomorrow because that one there will help you out. And I think if everybody just did this, it's a very simple process. I did talk about my $5 a week plan, but I got really thinking about this plan here. And um, I think it'll be a really good plan, very easy for everybody to do. And I think that you will be very pleased with the outcome that you're gonna see. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope that everyone stays safe. You keep prepping and keep your eye on the ball, folks. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.